Okay, let's try this one now. So um, let's figure out how much one mole of carbon-12 weighs. So in order to do this, it's just um, the next in a series of, well, you have to do a series of these conversion factors. So you know the mass of carbon-12, right? So the mass of carbon is going to be 12 point, oh, no, Dalton, like that. And you also know that 1 Dalton equals 1.661 times 10 to the negative 24th gram. Okay. So this is the mass of one atom of carbon-12. So you've also got another conversion factor, right? So 12.00 Dalton equals 1 carbon 12. Okay, so you can one atom of carbon 12, if you will. And you want to figure out what a mole of atoms of carbon 12 weighs. So, <coughs> you know, one mole of anything is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, Avogadro's number. So one mole of carbon-12 atoms, of course, is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd carbon-12, or atoms, we'll say atoms of carbon-12. Okay, so we should now have the ability to figure out how many grams per mole, so that's the, they wanted to figure out what's the mass per mole um, in grams of um, a mole of carbon atoms. So we should have enough information now to do that, right? So just take um, Dalton's and convert it to grams. So 1.661 times 10 to the negative 24th grams divided by 1 Dalton. That cancels that. Remember, we're going to grams per mole. So we've already got our grams here. And so we want to get rid of atoms because we got grams per atom now. So in order to do that, we got to put 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of carbon-12. Right, and that's going to cancel that out. But we've got to put the mole on the bottom. One mole, ugly, M of carbon-12. So that should give us grams per mole of carbon-12. And that's the units we wanted it in. So, this is pretty interesting. So let's do that. 12.00 times 1.661e negative 24. Okay, so we've got, that's how many grams one carbon 12 atom weighs. 1.9932 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. And then we just multiply that number by Avogadro's number to figure out how much a mole weighs in grams. And notice, we go to four significant figures. Okay. So hopefully you guys see something interesting, right? So one mole of carbon-12 Right? This is the cool thing about Avogadro's number, or the number of one mole, um, is that one mole of anything weighs the same uh, mass in grams per mole as one atom or one molecule did in Dalton. So 12 Daltons per atom of carbon-12 is 12 grams per mole, and if you wanted to, maybe I should say this, mole of carbon-12, okay? So it's a quick conversion factor that you should be able to use now. So try some on, the, on your own. Very important that you understand that.